Hi, I'm Mary Kircherati with the Applied Genealogy Institute, and I want to share a tip with you today about census records. I did a search for uh, Wilma Cornell, and I'd like to view her record. And if I go to that, I can look at the image and it shows Wilma here on the census. Um, you can see she's highlighted here. She lives at 991 Mills Street in San Bruno, California on the 1940 census. This is page 8B, uh, image number 19 in the set, and it looks like she lives alone, right? Well, don't always assume that. If you look at the end of this census group, now there are 58 pages in this enumeration district. If we look toward the end of it, let's look at page, or excuse me, image 57 of 58. And if I click go, we find another person, Alina Cornell, also living at 991 Mills Street. And you can see that all the names on this page, I call them stragglers. They just were missed. If you go back to um, household number, um, the visit number, and look at any of these, um, you will find that these people here were missed on the original enumeration. Either they were missed or when the enumerator um, copied the, the working copy onto clean forms in their best penmanship, um, they missed some lines and made them up at the end. So the last couple of pages of this enumeration district have stragglers on them. So the tip is when you find your person, always go to the last couple of images of whatever enumeration district you're looking at to see if you find more people. Um, I find this really prevalent on the 1940 census for whatever, and also the 1910 census. I'm not saying it doesn't happen on other censuses, but I've definitely seen a lot of it on those two censuses. So um, be sure you look at the end of the enumeration district for stragglers when you find your family on the census. Thanks very much for listening. Check back again for more tips on the Applied Genealogy Institute YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.